everybody, my name is Adam. Today I was out and about shooting and I thought I would change course for this video. Um, I'm going to be making a slingshot with a hand line for a handle. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it while I'm out and about here in the sticks. I might have to go home, finish it off at my shop and then either way at the end I will be taking it out for some shots as well as hopefully catching a fish with it. So please stay tuned. First thing we've got to do is go find a tree fork with a nice long handle. Look at all of this greenery, just absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to be getting out and walking about. Let's see what we can get up to here. I think we can do better than this fork. I'm essentially looking for deadfall trees. There's too much rod on this one. Looks like somebody unplugged all the tree forks from this tree. This one's a beauty, but remember, we're only looking for deadfall here. Leave all the live stuff we can. Heap of stones. People often use these to mark their hiking routes. Salmon berries are in bloom. Sugar maple blossom. Barbaris. More maple tree buds. What's this up ahead here? Some trilliums? Trilliums may not grow back if you pick them. They're best left untouched. This is what we came for right here. Look at this deadfall. It just snapped right in half. Look at it. Let's just walk across it and see what grew here. Look at that. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to be thick enough for the slingshot hand line, but I can't be leaving that behind. Look at it. It's a beaut. This fork's got some nice uniformity to it. I think it's maple. We just need to trim these forks and then take a little bit off the end, leaving some length for the hand line. Some beautiful co-dominant stems. On the bottom. Just need to trim off this last little bit here. So nice when you find a natural fork like this. Now I'm a little bit concerned that this will not be thick enough so what I'm going to do is just try to find one more that's just a little bit meatier for the hand line. I don't want to get that wet for it though. This is not a tree fork, it's just a side branch. I'll leave this one here. Take a look and see if anything else is around. Okay, this is great. Probably not gonna take this one with me, I don't know. But uh, she's pretty sweet. 
nice TTF frame there. I don't shoot TTF, so it's like if it gets too wide and they're too thick. But man, if I shot TTF, this would be a perfect for a hand line uh, handle. Anyways, moving along. I couldn't leave it behind. All right, so we got some good news and bad news. The bad news is, is that the smaller frame will not work for a hand line. However, it's going to make a very nice slingshot. Nonetheless, um, I did grab that bigger fork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a quick shot with this frame here and now while I'm out and about and get working on the thicker one first thing in the morning and make myself a hand line slingshot. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to probably have the forks at about this height. So I'm going to have to carve in here, which will be the in between the forks still, obviously. But the forks will be about yay high so that I can hold on to it like so. And then that leaves me all of this for the uh, hand line and we'll roll with that. All right. Now I'm just going to uh, remove some material in here for the forks. This is the goal right now. The object of the game here is just to get the outside shape of the frame that I want and then I will start to work on the flat sides. So I just thought of something. I want everything to be straight and lined up as much as possible. So I'm just going to use this cutting board here for uh, some pencil, do some pencil markings. Carving off some extra wood. Saves me on having to make so much dust. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've got uh, a lot of wood removed so far. I made a marking and I left the bark on, on the handle or where the um, handle will meet the, the uh, hand line. And I've worked out a lot of the symmetry to try to keep things as straight as possible. Um, it's probably not going to be perfect, but uh, you know, it's starting to look pretty cool, pretty cool already. I have uh, a lot of work left to do, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the progress that it's making. I just started marking the area with a knife that I'm needing to cut on both sides and start whittling away the wood. Just making sure that I don't remove too much at one time. Trying to remove the same amount of thickness as I go around the entire spool that I am carving out. It's getting there. Continuously measuring everything just to make sure that everything stays even. A little more carving. So the trick now is to try to leave it symmetrical on, on both sides 
with the frame which is a little bit of a struggle but uh, it'll it'll be okay by the time it's finished as long as I keep an eye on it and don't take too much off of one side or the other depending how you have it so it's always good just to kind of stop and take a look back take a look at it and just continue whittling away the great part about doing this side now is that I can use this side as a as a stop for my knife when it's when it's pushing so there's still a little bit of work I'll be doing in this part here after after I've got it all nicely carved out <laughs> A little bit of hand filing just to help with the circumference of the spool. Drilling a cavity in the handle so that it can hold some extra fish hooks and other accessories. Moving up in drill bit size. Making sure that I got the right size drill bit for the cavity hole. Worked out pretty good. Also had to make sure that I didn't go in too far. Wouldn't want to ruin all this work for nothing. A whole lot of sanding. Trying to sand things as even as possible. So the shape is coming along, got a bit more to do, kind of drew some graph, graph on there, just to have some guidelines to follow, carrying on. Just a bit of power tool work to speed things up. So I lost a lot of the symmetry going in, so I had to graph both sides out just to make sure that I'm kind of staying somewhat straight, but I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Round off the edges. So I'm just going to mark the forks and put in some band slots. A little bit more hand sanding. Okay, so I ran into a bit of a problem with the forks here. So I'll be holding it like that, but then on the tip of the fork right here, as you can see, I just didn't have enough room there for 
a flat band to lay perfect on. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do there. Gotta do something. In the meantime, I'm going to oil it up just because I don't want it to crack on me. It's been a lot of work. So I've got this old rusty can of wood finish. Put some of that on there. So everything is finished. It is all dry. The uh, stain, I didn't really stain it because uh, the rust in that can does it enough. And I kind of like a bit of the white and the mix of the brown. So I just didn't want to darken it a whole lot. Anyways, I fixed the tips. As you can see, the fork tips are fixed. What I did was I just sanded from about here up and then I left this part round, left that part round and uh, looks good. So now all I gotta do is put some line on it and get some gear and some bands on it as well. Let's do that. The next process is to add some fishing line. I will be adding some fishing line to the reel. Uh, this will be eight pound and I will tie a simple knot. All right, so we got the line all wrapped up on there. So the frame's all finished. Got the bands on, I got the line on. There's still a few things that I need to do, such as uh, putting a stopper on the bottom there and then uh, putting a leather strap over the uh, line so that it doesn't get interfered with or interfere with anything else. But other than that, it's pretty much complete. So I'm out and I'm hoping to maybe catch a fish with it as it is. I do got uh, some extra bits and bobs as well. And I will show you what I have inside. Let's go. Passing by some dogwood. Got a holly tree here. Not a bad fork on it, but not exactly good either. Carry on. The water's just up ahead. There it is. A short moment of rain today, of course, right? It didn't last long though. Always important to leave nature as you found it. A family of geese. A starling swooping. We're about to drop a line here and see if we can catch a fish.
slingshot with a hand line on it. We're going to take some shots of the can. That was a good one. There we go. On site. Oh, it's that guy. Anyways, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Might have to make another one. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe or not, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to continue making frames and uh, posting some vids. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care everybody. If you are all wondering what I have inside, I got some swivels. I got some fish hooks. I've also got some weight. Those get shoved in there. And I got some bait. And that gets shoved in there. And the coolest thing is I have this rubber stopper which goes in the end and if need be I just grab a piece of fishing line and I can take the rubber stopper I can put the fishing line through the rubber stopper I have this carved little piece of cherry wood stick that I can jam into the rubber stopper. And this can act as a little float if I'm ever in need of an extra float.